All right, what is going on guys? It's Apollo 1 and today we have for you a DNA bomb with the brand new weapon in Advanced Warfare. Now this gun is pretty sick. It is fairly decent as well. I'm happy they're bringing new guns to the game. This was a complete surprise today. Very, very exciting. So today's weapon is called the OHM, I believe. O-H-M. Very, very neat energy weapon that is actually a hybrid. It's actually a heavy weapon as well as a shock. And I'd say that both sides of the weapon are fairly good. The, the shotgun is very good the lmg is pretty good it has a little bit of recoil but it kills very very fast and i would give this weapon probably a seven and a half out of ten uh mainly because you do kind of move around weird with it it's kind of like very clumsy a feel when you're moving around with it i don't know it's kind of slow obviously it being a heavy weapon but also the recoil is kind of uh, difficult to manage sometimes at longer ranges, especially you kind of got a burst fire, and of course you can put the foregrip on there to to deal with that. But still, it's not it's not the best when it comes to recoil. So it is pretty cool though, guys. I wasn't expecting this. We do have a class set up down in the description as well as on screen on the best variants and or not the best variants, but the best things to use on the weapon, the the perks and the attachments, all that kind of stuff that Carnage Urbo put together. So you guys can check that video out. But today's gameplay is by Carnage Chris. Risk, guys go to his channel check him out he definitely deserves credit for getting this gameplay he grinded it out and managed to do it on the map Detroit it's a fairly fast DNA bomb as well it comes to about four minutes four and a half minutes around there uh, so guys go down to his channel check him out he's definitely putting work in over there you're gonna be seeing a lot of crazy gameplays from him in the near future in the next few months and uh, he's gonna be doing some crazy stuff on his channel he has like knife only DNA bombs like come on are you kidding me the punch only DNA bomb he was the guy that got you guys that. So, once again, go to his channel, check him out. And also, guys, if you could shoot for 650 likes on this video, that would be absolutely insane. I know this is kind of a late upload. I've just been really busy, and uh, we had a lot of videos that went up today. So, I really tried to get this one out, but um, just things kept piling on top of each other, and I couldn't get around to it. But I still wanted to get this DNA out the day of the weapon releasing. So, you know, it is late for some of you guys, but I apologize for that. And, you know, if you guys could share it around, since it's being an, a late upload, share it around, that would be greatly appreciated. I would really appreciate that. Uh, so, yeah, let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on this weapon. I think it's a great idea. I'm glad that they brought another weapon. Like I said, I wasn't really expecting this. I was just expecting a huge update today, like I told you guys on Twitter. By the way, follow Carnage on Twitter. We, we constantly are updating you guys on what's going on in the Advanced Warfare, as well as Carnage Clan, so you should follow us on there. Um, but yeah, I, was, I wasn't expecting this weapon at all, and by the way, throughout this gameplay, you will see him use the shotgun variant as well as the LMG variant, so that's kind of props to Carnage Chris for doing that, kind of showing off the entire weapon. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is, uh, the this is part of the Ascendance DLC, I believe that's the second map pack, that's what it's going to be called, and uh, this is part of the Ascendance DLC, just like the AE4 was part of Havoc, and this is very neat, because one, we know now that we're most likely going to be get getting another two weapons. I would expect probably like an SMG definitely at some point, uh, 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 an energy directed SMG. And the next one I would probably expect like a sniper, honestly. I, I know that's not too exciting, but I would probably expect a sniper in the fourth one, or maybe the third one, I don't know. But definitely I would expect an SMG at some point. Uh, that's kind of cool though. I'm, I'm really liking the way Advanced Warfare and Sledgehammer have been doing things. I don't know why they get the hate they do. I love Sledgehammer. I think they've done an, a phenomenal, phenomenal job with Advanced Warfare. And I'm not sucking up or anything. I'm really not. I love the game. I think there's a few things that I'm not going to you know, talk about too much in this video. But there's a few things they could fix and change and they need to change I think. But you know, I think they're doing a great job. And this is by far the best DLC season we've ever had. I, I've heard a few people say it's the worst. I don't understand the logic behind that. I honestly think this is the best DLC season Call of Duty has had in the history of the franchise. Um, and I think it's great. So let me know your thoughts and opinions of this weapon, like I said, down in the comment section below. If you're new to Carnage Clan, subscribe for more content like this. We're going to be posting more DNA bombs and probably D double DNA bombs with this weapon in the near future. So look forward to that. And uh, yeah, hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you guys later. God damn it.